the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with the second show of today uh, on Quick Hits. Uh, we did a show earlier. We broke down Dillian White's big, big win. Now we're going to get into uh, one of the fights on the undercard, Campbell Hatton's pro debut. Um, but before we do that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day. It's 8 to 10 minutes real quick, twice a day to keep you in the loop, up to date, in all the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, that's 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms, hit the thumbs up, the bell icon, all that stuff. Um, all right, let's get let's get let's get started. Um, Campbell Hatton, 130 pound prospect, um, made his professional debut today. Um, from this point forward, we're going to be referring to. <laughs> look, I understand the. Uh, commentary team was in his on his bandwagon they were they were they were Campbell Hatton fans I, I get that his old man uh was a legend I get that his old man uh kind of carried Sky Sports on his back for years um was like the lone money maker for Sky Sports at that particular time I get all that um they were in love with Campbell Hatton and uh, Campbell Hatton w was not spectacular, to say the least. Um, to put it mildly, uh, if Campbell Hatton was not Campbell Hatton, if his dad wasn't Ricky Hatton, if his name was Campbell Miller, um, he would not be fighting on this card in Gibraltar. In, 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 uh, Gibraltar? Is that how you say it? Gibraltar? How do you say it? Um, he'd be fighting in a club with 200 people um, there. Look, I'm not saying the kid stinks. I'm not saying... Um, He's a horrible fighter who will never be good. I'm saying right now he's not good. Right now, he's got a long way to go. And we're going to get into it a little bit. Um, again, I'm not saying he's terrible. I'm not saying he's going to be a bust. I'm not saying anything like that. Uh, I'm just judging him off of his lone pro debut. And he did look really, really eager. You know, he, he wanted to put on a show. So maybe his second, third fight, he, he settled down a little bit and, and gets in control. Uh, but today's performance was not good. Uh, he fought a guy who was 0-10. Uh, only been knocked out once. So I'm not going to kill him for um, not getting knockouts. He doesn't seem to have a whole lot of pop on his punches. He swings his punches wildly. He doesn't use his jab enough. Like I said, he seems out of control. Um, they, they were saying that he was patient and calm. I didn't see that at all. I see him swing, swing wildly a, a lot. His jab is kind of deliberate and slow, and it's he's got a lot to work on. Um, he, he goes to the body really well, okay? He's an excellent body puncher. He throws to the body. He commits to the body. That stuff is good. Um, you can see that he's his dad's son. Obviously, they look alike, but he also tries to fight like his dad. He's just, and I get it, it's one fight. He didn't have an extensive amateur career. Um, it, it, he's got a long, long Long way to go. Um, he, he was sloppy. His jab's not good. His hands are down. His chin is up in the air. He looked amateurish. And again, I, I understand his first pro fight. He didn't have a long pro, uh, long amateur career, so he should be in the amateur. So I'm not killing him for looking like an amateur. But can we be fair? If he wasn't Campbell Hatton, if he wasn't, if his dad wasn't who his dad is, he wouldn't be here. Because he's not that good yet. I, I, I get. I can't say it enough. I don't know how he develops. Uh, but what we saw today was a, a young fighter who is wild and not well schooled. Somehow, even though his dad, you know, he was born into the sport. You know, his dad is a great fighter. He just seems like he hasn't been fighting that long, which I guess he hasn't. Um, look, if, if Campbell Hatton, he obviously has it in his blood. If he's going to get to a elite level, a world-class level, 
it's going to be a process. It's going to be a long process because right now he's not close. He doesn't seem to have a ton of snap on his punches. He wings off punches wildly. He doesn't use his jab enough. And when he does use his jab, he telegraphs it a little bit. Um, but, you know, he's got the right promotional team. He's got the right, you know, DNA, so to speak, figuratively and literally. Um, so let's see where it goes. I- I'm sure he'll be back soon. I was excited to see him, like I said, on MCR podcast. If... Um, He's half as exciting as his dad. He's going to be one heck of a draw. Um, he's going to be a heck of an entertaining fight if he's half as entertaining as his dad was. Uh, so, so we'll see. You know, right now, I wouldn't give him a grade. It's incomplete. He, he won the fight, so kudos to you. Tip your hat to him. But I'll be, it, look, if you want someone who's going to come say great things to about him because of who his dad is, that's not me. Uh, I, I'm going to call it like I see it, and that was not a great performance. It was... But again, it was his first performance. He looked really, really excited and eager. He, he looked a little bit jumping out of his skin. Like, you know, it's his pro debut. Let's just slow it, slow it down a little bit. Just slow it down a little bit. He'll be back. Um, again, I, I think this is the level of fighter he's going to be in with for the foreseeable future because he's got a lot to work on. A lot to work on. Um and hopefully we just see improvements in him every time because, like I said, right now he's not close. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let, were you impressed with uh, Campbell Hatton's performance? Did you think he looked good or you as down on him as I was? Did you have, I don't know, a little bit higher expectations? Did you think he was going to be a little more controlled, a little more well-skilled, a little more fine-tuned than what we got today? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you all think. Um Campbell Hatton from now on, like I said, from here on out, I'm, I'm going to be calling him Ricky Hatton Jr. Because he's right now, he's not his own man. Right now, he's just his dad's son, and that's why he's here. Um, he didn't get here on his own merit, that's for sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. I remember Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Uh, eight to ten minutes just to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um... Please share this. Uh, hit the thumbs up, the bell icon, all that good stuff. Uh, it is March 27th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. From Texas to the world, thank you and God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.